After last week's revelations about his wife's financial dealings, Rishi Sunak has launched an inquiry as to how the information was leaked. Let's take a look. Yeah, you, you don't need an inquiry, mate. It, it was the bloke next door trying to save his own ass by dropping you right in it, because that's the kind of man he is. You know, what I loved about all of this, right, for a few days there, there was this sense from Tory ministers of how very dare you! Amazement that the electorate feel a bit uneasy at those who struggle the most having their taxes raised whilst the multi-millionaire in charge of raising those taxes is married to a tax-dodging billionaire. Oh, she's done nothing wrong! cries Rishi. Well, not if you take morals out of the equation. She hasn't. My tax-dodging billionaire wife is off limits. Well, she certainly was to the HMRC, mate. So Boris has deliberately opened up a Pandora's snatch of hastily written statements saying, oh yeah, I did use tax havens for a bit, but now I'm an MP and it's just not a good look. Yeah, it's not a good look because it's morally reprehensible. Well, I used to be morally reprehensible, but now I'm not. But as soon as I'm kicked out of office, I will be again. And Boris, he's banking on it that we find all of this much more morally reprehensible than him breaking his own lockdown rules and probably the law, then lying about it. And whilst the Chancellor and the Health Secretary, who is also the previous Chancellor, along with presumably many more to come, haven't technically done anything legally wrong, the fact that their first instinct is to keep as much of their money as possible away from the Treasury that they run tells you all you need to know. They are perfectly happy taxing you and me, taxing the shit out of hard-working families. But as soon as you've got enough money, too much money, to pay tax on, oh, you don't worry about that. Listen, just, just pay what you can. Yeah, it only goes on hospitals for poor people. Don't worry about it. And these fuckers, they're not just immensely rich, they are also incredibly cheap into the bargain. The Prime Minister is happy to spend £840 on a roll of wallpaper so long as he doesn't have to pay for it himself. You've got Tory MPs claiming two grand of expenses for their heating bills, whilst for millions, putting the heating on now means lighting a couple of extra candles, whilst the government announces a major shift in energy policy, which does nothing to address the energy and cost of living crisis. With his latest round of budget bumfoolery, Rishi Sunak deliberately and knowingly has pushed a further 1.3 million citizens into absolute poverty, including half a million children. But then, of course, this is the government who decided not to feed hungry children during a pandemic. And yet they sneer incredulously when you point out that whilst most of them are tax-dodging snake oil vendors, we have the highest tax burden since Nazis in planes were dropping bombs on London. The biggest drop in income since the fucking 50s. The biggest drop in living standards since rationing. But whatever happened to levelling up? You remember that one? Levelling up, taking back control, building back better. They don't care about the country. They care about money. Money and power. Because power brings more money. Rich, cheap fuckers running the country into the ground without a single moral between them. Well, we are likely to hear by the end of the day if the Prime Minister has been fined by police for breaking lockdown rules, but we're just...